Another approach that is uh, a little unusual, but it has uh, a couple interesting features, is to use the paint bucket. I don't do a lot with a paint bucket, but um, I did discover that there's something interesting you can do with this. I'm going to use the paint bucket tool. First thing I'm going to do though is grab this gray color. Then I'm going to go in underneath the shape builder. I have the paint bucket. Well, let me actually select both of these shapes first. Now I'm going to select the paint bucket. And I'm going to click here and go in and color the pieces that I want to color. I'm going to zoom in just so it's a little easier to see. All right, to color these lines, I have to switch the paint bucket and do a different mode here. If I double click on it, I'm going to select that I also want to be able to color paint strokes. Now I'm set up to paint the strokes. When I mouse over it, you see I have the green. I'm going to go ahead and do a switch here. Now when I go over the strokes, it's got my gray color. And that's pretty much it. There's some, um, there's some other things you can get into working with the paint bucket. Now this is an interesting solution in that now what I have in my layers is a live paint object. I still have access to the individual shapes. There's the snake and this is the the stick part. One of the interesting things about working with live paint is that I haven't really cut the shapes. So I have a certain amount of freedom here in terms of moving the objects around and not having it fall apart. If I go too far, I do lose the relationship. So when I come back, it's lost that. And I just un did some undos until I got back here.